Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there is a press release statement from the Office of the Inspector General National Police Service, Nairobi, indicating that the Inspector General of Police Service, Hilary Mutambai, will be attending to medical checkup, and because of that, he will be out of the office. Therefore, his deputy is going to take over the duties in that office until when he will be back. That means this is not going to take maybe one day, two days. It might be a little bit longer, maybe a week or so. <laughs> so in Amanisha, he might be away for a little longer. That's why his deputy is officially taking over the office. And uh, this statement has come out with a mixed reaction from Kenyans. <laughs> Everyone is giving his own view to the reason why the statement is out or the reason why Hilary Mutambai will not be in the office. But I just want us to go through that statement. Then from there, we are going also to give our own view on the same issue. So let me just read the statement fully and we continue. Office of the Inspector General, National Police Service, Nairobi, Kenya. Press release. Absence from office. This is to inform the general public that I will be away from office attending to a medical checkup effective today, 26 August 2022. In my absence, Mr. Noor Gabo, the Deputy Inspector General, Administration Police Service will act as the Inspector General of the National Police Service until my return. I'm a sign hapo. Hilary N. Mutiambai, MGH, NSH, NSC, Eju, Inspector General, National Police Service, and the President of Afripoli General Assembly. 26 August. 2022. That is the statement. <laughs> and Kenyans are really talking on this issue. Now, apart from medical checkup, is there any other reason that could be making Hilary Mutambai to write this statement? Because maybe let's assume he will be out of the country or another Kwatoko, Dani Ainchi, but under medical on medical checkup. So the question we are asking here. Is there any other reason that could have informed Hillary Mutambai to write this statement? That is what we want to try and analyze. But before, before we go deep into that, just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you are not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once we release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and any note of comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, the first obvious reason could be that the Inspector General of Police, Hilary Mutambai, maybe he has been on medical process and going for a checkup. It means it is a process that was already ongoing. Or he's not feeling well. And I need to go for a medical checkup. But handing over an office, it means he has been in a consultation with doctors. So the first thing that comes to the mind is that maybe he might be going to go, he might be preparing to go through a serious medical treatment, maybe key to come a surgery, which can be a major one. So Lazima and the hospital akae huko muda na atakuwa kwa madawa. Ukishakuwa kwa madawa saa zingine ama sio saa zingine most of the time unaekwa into a deep sleep. So the healing process takes time. I'm just suggesting it's the same in hivyo. It's just a allegation. So this could be one of the reason it might be a serious medical process that we need more time for the process and healing. So it could be maybe happening here in Kenya in one of the good hospitals that we know or outside the country. 
That is the first obvious reason. But then, those who have been saying that Mutiambai might be leaving the country because he's not comfortable with the situation that we have William Samairo as president-elect, and we know they have been at loghead with the deputy president on how he has been handling issues in this country. That is one of the obvious reasons. And remember, when there was disruption at Bombers of Kenya, the man whom Hilary Mutambe is leaving, is leaving the office to handle is the same person who restored peace at Bombers of Kenya. And that's how you see those who are supporting the Deputy President William Samuel Ruto are comfortable to welcome that decision to have his deputy handle the office. In fact, they are saying that this could be the next person who will be rewarded. Nikusema Tuanasem. And I wanted to watch this video shortly to see how the Deputy Inspector General handled the situation at Bombers of Kenya to restore peace and allow Mara, uh, Chebukati to do his work. Mr. Noor Gabor. Watch this video shortly. Now, beside this, I know most of our subscribers on this channel and viewers at large might have come across the statement that came from Oscar Sud yesterday. He openly told the county commissioner to either resign or prepare to face it rough because of how he handled the situation in uh, Wasingishu County, where Oscar Sud is coming from. According to Oscar Sudi, the county commissioner was playing politics in the interest of Azmio Saidi, Akifinyilia Watu Wakenda Kwanza. So Oscar Sudi released a warning to the county commissioner. We shared that video here. If you missed, I'm going to put a link here. You'll get to the video, or at the end of this video, of course, you will see that video again. So, we have seen such threats coming out, and it is coming from someone who has been regarded or known to be one of the close allies of the Deputy President, William Samuel Ruto. Such that many people believe that when you see Oscar Sudi speaking something, then take it as like William Samuel Ruto is the one speaking. Because there are things William Samuel Ruto cannot say directly or openly, it is always easy to say through his allies. So when Oscar Sudi spoke yesterday, some people took it like it is William Samuel Ruto speaking. That's why some people are saying that Hillary Mutambai will be also be afraid or he's afraid because of such statements that came from Oscar Sudi. <laughs> and this could be one of the reasons informing him to take certain measures. That's why you are seeing UDA or Kenya Kwanza supporters are saying that Hillary Mutambai is running from the country because they don't want to witness William Samuel Ruto being sworn in as the next president of the Republic of Kenya just in case wanaenda kushinda kesi kotini oro kutakuwa na uchaguzi wa nyotorudiwa na washinde. They are saying that Hillary Mutambai is not comfortable with that. That's why he is putting his deputy to take over office for the time being as he is out. That means he might not come back quickly or come back to resume office until further notice. So you, 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 see, you cannot just dismiss that. You cannot dismiss the allegations from Kenya Kwanda side. Because we have seen someone being threatened by Ruto allies. So those threats might be even being extended to the inspector general because they have not been comfortable with him. They have been coming out to call up his name. They have been coming out to give warnings to him. They have been coming out to tell him any manner of things that they have thought throughout the campaign period. So, you cannot dismiss that. It can be another possibility. <laughs> and of course, the other side of the coin could be that it is obvious he is just in a medical checkup and then he will be back in the office. 
and the work will continue to go on. So the question that Kenans will ask as I conclude, will we have a president or a government that is going to threaten every civil servant in this country and anyone who does not agree with them? Is that the kind of government Kenyans want to be formed after this petition and uh, all those things that when they will settle down, when the sediment will, the political sediment will settle down in this country? Is that the kind of government Kenyans will be wishing to have? A government full of threat to its own citizens. Is this something that Kenyans should embrace or should prepare to have? Because as we are speaking now, I have not seen any senior person from Kenya Kwanza side coming out to condemn the statement from Oscar Sudi. William Ruto himself, Ako Silent. Msalia Mdavadi, Principal Kenya Kwanza, Ako Silent. Senator Wetangula, Principal Kenya Kwanza, Ako Silent. All those individuals that you can think of, the senior people in Kenya Kwanza side, Silence means they are in agreement with the Oscar Sudi statement. They might be preparing to revenge. If things might not change, then as a country, we might be heading to a wrong direction. Where people are thirsty for blood or bloodthirsty to say evil and are ready to revenge. Not to forgive and not to allow everyone who was against them to do their work freely and comfortably as a Kenyan citizen. Is that the direction we want to go to? <laughs> because the best thing is that Kenya Kwanza should come out and condemn the statement from Oscar Sudi and assure Kenyans of peace and unity in this country. Because, you know, when you go into this direction, you can go to an extent of even dividing the police. You divide the army. You divide everything you could think of in this country. And then, how do you lead in a divided country? That means we are heading to anarchy. And listening on the statement from Oscar Sudi, you can easily conclude and say that Oscar Sudi and other people who believe or treat his statement as just okay, should be seen as anarchist. See you in our next video.